Welcome back to another Tech Talk. In today's episode, I'm gonna be talking about my new ultimate hard drive storage solution. Basically, all of the files, all of the videos I've ever made are on this massive hard drive system called the Storinator AV15. Little disclaimer, today's video is gonna be super geeky. Firstly, I wanna say the brand that sent me this are 45 drives and they do a lot of these like server raid solutions for, I guess it's for bigger companies normally and like huge offices and studios and stuff. And they did this amazing customized front plate for me with Baloo and uh, they live the adventure logo. I've got so many hard drives um, and I haven't backed a lot of them up. I've actually lost, some of them have even been damaged and um, I'm gonna have to try and get data recovery done on them. So I've got all these hard drives, which I'll actually, maybe I'll lay the other hard drives out and show you what I've backed up onto this one. So as you can see guys, this is a lot of video footage. Most of these drives are at least two terabytes, um, if not four terabytes. Oh, also, this isn't even accounting for, yeah, this is another 12 terabyte uh, RAID hard drive that we put a lot of the Beyond Borders footage on. So I had this task of basically backing all of this up. Now I guess I need to hook it back up again and show you the, uh, the insides. Okay, so there's basically, I'm gonna open the, the top. There's 15, 12 terabyte drives in here. I think I can take one out, yeah. So this is what the, uh, the drives look like. 12 terabyte drives. Seagate hooked me up with these drives as well. Shout out to Seagate. They all just slot in perfectly. You basically slot all the hard drives in. It recognizes it as one drive and it intelligently writes little bits, little packets of each, I don't know, kilobytes or bytes or whatever to each drive. So firstly, you can write and read much faster because it's essentially using the speed of all the drives together. If one of these drives breaks, you can basically switch that one drive out and it you don't lose any data because of the way that it's shared across. Now, I think it does mean you lose a bit of the overall capacity, but it's super clever how it does it. It's like a weight off my mind thinking that even when these hard drives will inevitably fail, that, um, yeah, that the data is safe. And I'm hoping as long as there's not like a fire or explosion or tsunami, this is this is pretty much um, gonna save all my files. Basically, once I plug it in, we can look at the, the full capacity of this all together uh, when I read it as OneDrive on my computer, but it's in the region, like it's, a, it's more than 150 terabytes, which is pretty incredible. Right, something I didn't think through properly, but it doesn't matter, it's not too late, but basically, I drilled this uh, hole in the back of the cupboard up here to feed all the cables through, and there's no hole in the bottom, which is where I need the cables to be kind of accessible from the back there. So I've got my drill, and this is a hole drill, a hole, a hole saw, a hole drill, something like that. And I can just uh, saw a hole in the back with that, and then hopefully I can just feed all the cables down. There you go, that is the back of my cupboard. I've got one of the thin rubber mats underneath. It's in place, the drawer opens and closes. And now, the moment of truth, let's turn it on. Oh, that's pretty good. It's whirring, but it's not vibrating or buzzing on the on the wood. Right, now the 45 drive system has booted up. I'm gonna show you what this looks like on my computer. Okay, so what I've done is, this is the network address of the 45 drive system, and I have uh, named it the BFG. Right, BFG. So all of these basically represent what those hard drives I had laid out. And I haven't sorted them yet. These are like jumbled up, but within them, 
I contained all of my old vlogs plus some other hard drives I had from back home. As an example, this is one of my old vlogs. There's Ben. Look at Will, oh my gosh. Steve doing a little fashion shoot. So anyway, I've got all my vlogs here I can access, go back through, and the transfer speeds are insane. Right, check this out. So although, although these are hard disk drives, basically when they're raided together like that, they're behaving more like a solid state drive in terms of speed. Okay, I've selected my external solid state drive to give you a speed comparison. And it's like, basically almost twice as fast as, as a solid state drive, which is really shocking to me. I didn't realize it was this fast. And if I compare it to one of the traditional external hard disk drives, oh my gosh. <laughs> that is, that is crazy. That's like over 10 times faster. Check this out. If I just go into, some random folder here and I want to grab one of these folders here day 1204 right drag that folder on and watch this so this is 16 gig and it's copying over in less than a minute honestly this is a game changer for me I think it's gonna be a while until I fill it completely because as you saw I've only half filled it with like a lifetime of footage unless I start churning out documentaries and shooting everything in 8k and stuff maybe I'll need to get another one but this is going to last me for a few years at least and uh yeah it's it's amazing and the other thing is because I can I've got it plugged into the network anyone can access this in the house now from their computers or whatever we can like project stuff on screens downstairs and it's uh yeah it's pretty amazing I could probably like hide it in a kind of bomb proof case or something, but for the moment it's good. And if any of you got any ideas for cloud based storage or cheap ways I can do it, like I've looked at Google Drive, Dropbox and stuff like that, but I think that's the next step is maybe backing the entire um, 45 drive system online and then I'll have a, lo a local version and an online version, but I think that's further further in the future. There's so many other things I want to talk to you guys about. Like, for instance, I started making my own LED rope neon sign for Live the Adventure. And then I realized it was actually epic and I wanted to show you guys how I did it because it was super cheap and easy. Oh, and it's also, um, check it, you, it's actually like you can change the color. So that's pretty sick, isn't it? Um, anyway, I'm gonna make a whole nother video on that. So that's one thing I need to tell you about. What else? Um, Oh yeah, by the way, if you spotted this, this isn't because I've got a huge ego. This is because this is actually the Live the Adventure uh, Facebook page, which um, we're uploading loads of content to now, like almost daily, cool little cut down videos. Um, if you haven't checked it out, uh, head over, I'll link it in the description. So there you go, guys. That was my review of the 45 Drives Storinator AV15. I've linked their website below. You can go and check out some of their other solutions. And uh, please comment below anything else you want me to talk about on this tech talk format on my channel. Um, any other products, things you want to know about, anything like that. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you next time. Peace out, enjoy life, and live the adventure. Boom.